Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Summer is fast approaching and that to me means burgers. So I'm planning on doing a series of regional burgers. I didn't know that regional burgers that were so specific and unusual existed until I watched a couple episodes of The Burger Show by First We Feast. Amazing series. The couple episodes I watched, Alvin the host cooks and eats burgers with George Motz, the author of this book, The Great American Burger Book, which I got out of my local library. Now George has become my expert when it comes to burgerness because he goes into such scientific kind of specificity and history when it comes to these burgers. Absolutely amazing to learn about the local history through the lens of a burger. Love that. Burgers are humble. Burgers are accessible. Burgers are democratic. Another reason to love this meat patty on a bun. So let me show you some examples. So this sounds amazing. The fried onion burger from Oklahoma. George actually demonstrates how to cook this with Alvin in one of the episodes. Again, I'll put the link to that video down below. That sounds incredible. As a huge fan of the smash burger, in fact, that's probably my favorite style of burger. This sounds absolutely amazing. This is the nut burger. As a gal who lived in Montana for a little while, I have a special love for Montana and I never had this. This is it from Butte. It involves taking peanuts that you crush and you just mix it with a little bit of Miracle Whip. Then you slather your burger with a big pile of this stuff. Yes. Now I regularly put peanut butter on my burger, so I don't see what there's not to love in this burger. This comes from Nebraska and Kansas. There's lots of permutations called the Runza, also called the Kolosh and the B-Rock. This one sounds amazing. Look at that. That looks like a bow, but inside you've got a burger. Yes. Yes. Another one from the Minnesota area I want to make is the Juicy Lucy. It is called such because it contains cheese. When you bite into it, the Juicy Lucy happens. The Stuffed Burger. This is something that you might see in this Instagram kind of gimmick world, but no. This has some history. The Juicy Lucy has been around since 1953, I believe. Historic. So I'll be making that one as well. Now today's burger is not actually included in this cookbook. I actually couldn't find that much information about it and it is called the Fluff Screamer or the Fluff Burger. So this recipe comes from Eastern Pennsylvania, from Schuylkill County, from Gerardsville, Pennsylvania, in a tiny little place called Tony's Lunch. And they are known for a particular style of cheeseburger called a Screamer. Now the Screamer is called a Screamer because it has a meat sauce, which they call hot sauce, which is quite hot. So the legend goes that a young lady went to Tony's lunch and requested marshmallow fluff on her burger. For the longest time, it never happened. And finally, someone rescinded, actually put a scoop of this on there. She always had it. Other people started ordering it and that was the birth of the fluff burger or the fluff Screamer. Now marshmallow fluff, I love this container, is iconic. It actually hails from this area of New England in Massachusetts. And it is basically what it sounds like. It is a spreadable, fluffy marshmallow spread. The fluffer nutter sandwich is very popular around here, which is a sandwich made of peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. You can imagine children would love that combination. But today I'm gonna to be smacking this on a burger. Now, I love the combination of sweet and salty, so I think this will be an interesting combination. I'm not sure texturally how it's going to be, so that's why I'm gonna make it. Let's make ourselves a fluff screamer. Another reason why I'm referencing George's book is that I'm gonna be using his recipe for beanless beef chili sauce. Now, I didn't realize this, but this was a way for burger dives to use up leftover meat. As you imagine, you're making burgers and then you've got a lot of ground beef left over. So a meat sauce was invented, right? You just used your leftover ground beef, mixed it with a few ingredients, add some water, and now you have something that you can refrigerate and extend and just place on your burger so nothing goes to waste. Now, I didn't find any specific references or recipes for Tony's Lunch's style of hot sauce, I just watched a few videos and I saw that it had a noticeably amount of red chili flakes in it. And based on what I've read in forums, people said it was quite hot. So let me show you what I did to make the hot sauce. So heat a saucepan up with some vegetable oil and add half a minced up yellow onion. Stir that around for a few minutes until it's nice and translucent. Then add one large clove of garlic minced. Saute that around, don't let anything burn and then add a half a pound of ground beef. Now we're gonna stir this and mush it all around till the beef is nice and crumbly. So reduce the heat a little bit and we're gonna add a pinch of salt and then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of brown sugar, about a teaspoon of chili powder, 
a little pinch of cumin seed, and a couple shakes of Worcestershire sauce. Stir this around, and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of tomato paste and about a half a cup of crushed canned tomato. And then add a half a cup of water. Bring this up to a boil and then reduce the heat down to a simmer and let it cook up for about 15 minutes. So what I noticed in a couple videos of Tony's lunch is that the sauce is quite soupy. So don't hesitate to add a little bit of water to make this more of like a saucy consistency. Okay, so now that we have our hot sauce ready, let's go ahead and prepare our burger. I love my skillet, but I'm gonna use my griddle pan so you can see a little bit better. It's also easier to flip your burger when you don't have the side walls of the skillet, but it does make a mess. But you know, burgers just make a mess anyways. I also, and George also recommends in his book, a nice sturdy spatula. I actually found this at a thrift store years ago. I love this thing. This is the, probably one of the most used tools in my kitchen. Love this spatula. Very sturdy, strong, short handle. Really, really great for scraping all that yummy fond off and then flipping. So we're gonna get this screaming hot. I am using 80-20 ground beef here. Based on what I've saw in a few videos, the patties at Tony's Lunch seem to be a bit thicker. They do look hand-formed, but they're definitely not a smash burger. This apparently makes the most amazing instant fudge too, which I've never tried. So if you guys wanna see that video, let me know down in the comments. This is starting to smoke, so I'm gonna put my patty down. There we go. Just a light little push. And we're just gonna let that go. We're gonna make sure all our windows are open and that our smoke detectors are turned off. So what we're looking for is a really good crusty sear on this. So resist the urge to move this or mess around with it. Let it do its thing. And once we start seeing some kind of blood juicy stuff come up, then we can consider giving it a flip. So. <laughs> okay, so through the cloud of burger smoke, <laughs> you can begin to see some of these juices being exuded. Use your spatula and scrape really hard down. You want to get all of that crispiness. Flip. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. We want all that beautiful, crispy, yummy, 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 yumminess. Okay, so we're going to let this go a few more minutes and get that other side nice and lovely. I'm gonna smell really nice after this. So now that it's been a couple minutes on this side, I'm gonna just cover that a little bit and give it an extra little steam, just to cook it up a little bit more. Because what I saw in, again, the videos that I saw, this burger looks pretty well done in the middle. A hamburger bun, nothing fancy here. I love how it gives you a little warning here. It says occasional lid doming is normal. Refrigeration is not necessary. Nope. Okay, so here is that. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's grab our burger. Place it right on the, oh yes. We're gonna take our slice of white American cheese. We're gonna do this quick cheese style, meaning we're not going to melt this. Fold it in half, put it right on top. To the top of the bun, we're gonna add some butter. From what I could tell, it looked like margarine. Very, very spreadable and just kind of in this kind of tub format. So I'm gonna do that. Now we're gonna add our hot sauce. Onions. Cause I love a burger with onions. <laughs> now for the fun part, a huge dollop of marshmallow fluff. Huge. Like, how do you get it off the spoon is what I wanna know. Ow. It's just like marshmallows. Right on there. Holy smoke rokes. Now we just put a lid on it. Here we go. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> oh my gosh! Alrighty, and here it is. The fluff screamer, or the fluff burger. And already, <laughs> it looks like a hot mess. So over at Tony's Lunch, they serve this on a little paper plate. So I will do that. Itadakimasu. Mmm! <laughs> I think I like that. Might have to try it again. Mm. 
And can I just say that that's a very nicely cooked burger. Although I like my steak rare, I don't like my burgers to be too rare. There's just a little bit of pink in there, just how I like them. You've got the soft hamburger bun. You've got the equally soft, fluffy, oozy marshmallow fluff. That's sweet and sticky. And then you've got the salty cheese and the hot, spicy meat sauce in there. Altogether, it works really well. And then you've got that burger that has a little bit of crispy crustiness on the outside. And it's a great combination. But I definitely would recommend putting some onions on there, not only for that nice textural contrast, but also for that flavor. That combination of meat and onion, classic, absolutely classic. Can we just give it up to kids and they're willing to experiment? Love that. Something happens as we get older. We lose that zest for experimentation, I feel like. Kids will do anything. They're gonna put their tuna fish sandwich in their Kool-Aid. They're gonna take marshmallow fluff and put it on their burger. Kids are awesome, awesome. Love you kids, love you kids. We are all kids at heart, we should remember that. Alrighty, back to eating burgers. Oh my God, mm, it's a whole thing. So there you have it, the Fluff Screamer. I definitely recommend at least trying it. The next time I find myself in Eastern Pennsylvania, I'm going to definitely try it in the context that is Tony's Lunch. Although I've heard it has strange hours, even though it's called Tony's Lunch, it's not open for lunch. It doesn't even open until about six o'clock because I think they go after the bar late night crowd. So yeah, I'll have to make a special point to get there around dinner time. So there you have it, my first episode of Regional Burgers. Let me know down in the comments below if there's a specific burger you'd like to see, or if there's one from your area, or if there's a burger chain or a burger joint that you recommend. I'm all ears because like I said, I love me a good burger. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> That's probably been bugging you too, right? <laughs>